So is this going to be a yearly thing or what? We can do this yearly or what? Oh, I think so. Has this, this, this been worthwhile for you? Oh, yeah. It's good. good. I just don't, you know, I want the public to like it. The public's having a great time. All right. There's people listening all over the place. People are driving across the country on I-5 and I-10. And I mean, this is interesting. You know, this is interesting. You're giving the right. It is. I was really impressed with Jack. Well, wait a minute, Barney. You know Barney's going to do this. Just about anything. <clears throat> oh, I got that fizziness up my nose, oh no! All right, get up more with Bill Meeks coming up in a while and more of the famous disc jockeys that we promised you. Here's the platters from 1956 on Coma, talking about the great pretender, the George Bush story, in short. <laughs> Bless his chops. That's right, this is a very democratic well, uh, You know, he might demand equal uh, time. That's, that's been eliminated. There is no equal time doctor on radio anymore. I wonder how much people have used so far. Almost the entire side. I've got other plenty of cassettes in there. So that's no problem. Could you hand me the... Uh, oh, I'll get them. I'll get them. What's that? I was going to say, I'll keep the other cassettes right next to me. And that way, if I need to reload them, okay. I've got my kids. Let's do it. Because I'm going to use much more tape because we it, it, it's, 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 it's a, a skimmer. Coma. Sure. Hello. Hello, Ricky. Yes. I have a question. Ask one. Uh, were you around Oklahoma City in, in, back in the uh, 60s? No, I was in New Jersey. New Jersey. I was with w, in the WABC area. Okay. I was kind of curious. There was, there was two things. Yeah, well, Bill uh, did every, all the jingles for them. Bill was right involved in it. Well, I don't remember any of the jingles that WKY fell through. Well, the WKY ended in about 1960 or 61, and then they were all in coma from there on. The real early Pam stuff was in WKY. Yeah, they, they bought Series 14 and several others. They, uh -huh. they wanted to buy any and all and make a contract, but I made a contract with all of the stores group. Uh -huh. But, uh, yeah, in fact, I, I had one thing that ran on WKY that was like a... A, an alert. I, I built a musical alert that was supposed to let everybody know uh, if there was a disaster or a tornado yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And they played it as a sample and the fire department and everything else came out and we were trying, they tried their best not to have people come out. You, know. you wouldn't have to be the person that came up with the following the records provided by and all that, that, that stuff. Uh, the, the, which one? The disclaimers? Which one? Oh, the disclaimers? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You did that? Yeah, you, you, the singing disclaimer? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he did do that. They, they, they do want that thing to follow yeah. the record. Yeah. Right for, uh, I, I can't remember how those. I, I, I do it. I can't remember how much it be played. Well, they're heavy lyrics. <laughs> Very heavy lyrics. They also did the beginnings, uh, the intros to the Beatles, too. You recall those? The uh, intros to the Beatles. Yeah. Uh, all the jingle intros to the Beatles. Uh, did you hear? I don't know. The Hold on a minute. Hold on. <laughs> oh, the platters. It must be a record that broke well. See, there, there was some humor in there. It was, it was because it was the platters. Come a chime time right now. Nine minutes after the hour of ten and time to read a message. Join the lunch bunch with Dick Bernardi. Win dinner for two at the Spaghetti Warehouse in Bricktown. Plus, be registered for the grand prize. Dinner for you and 20 of your co-workers. It sounds like fun. You listen for details middays, Monday through Friday, right here on Fun Love and 1520. It's Coma. We're in the middle of a solid gold weekend, and we've got Bill Meeks, one of the originators of Top 40 Radio and Jingles. If you've got a question for Bill, give us a call at 460-1520, area code 405, and we're going to be doing this all the way till 3. Ass and fun and daughters, too. Oh, that's what you think. Going back to 1966. These are the toys. Actually, they're cheap imitations. And they're follow-up into a lover's concerto on coma. Okay. Well, I thought Oklahoma City was divided into two sections, north and south. I had a girlfriend in the other town, home to the two of the KY. I live on the south side, my little KOM. And I just kind of wondered who, uh, yeah, I always thought the KOM was predominant because they had, had uh, their signal after the dark. 
You're going, you're going south. It has to protect Shreveport. Pardon? It has to protect the station in Shreveport, so it doesn't go south real well. Yeah, well, I know that. I know that. That person's going to go all the way around the world or something they pick up in South Africa. Well, it used to be number one at night in Albuquerque. Well, yeah, uh, and well, Casper, Wyoming. <laughs> I live in good quite a few states myself. In fact, my daughter's in Phoenix right now, and she's making a very long time. What, what years were you listening to Coma back in the Rock and Roll? I, I started listening to Rock in 61. Like, one of the very first songs I remember is, and, uh, or, or one of those songs around there or something. Yeah. Uh, but you, or, by chance, do you recall uh, a, the band that won the KOMA, uh, rock band contest. It was the Bear Facts. Uh, oh, it must have been about 1965. Yeah, later age. The only reason I knew about it was my son was <coughs> playing in the band, singing in the band, and there were a bunch of kids from Oklahoma City. Okay, well, we're going to have to get rolling now. we got more phone calls to take. Okay. But thanks a lot for calling. Yeah. Take care. Bye-bye. All right. Calma. Uh, yes. Uh, when you all talk to uh, Dan Ingram, yeah. could you ask him... Uh, if you've got any stories he can tell about uh, people like Scotty, Mooney, and uh, Cousin Bruce. Assuming we get Ingram on the show tonight and he's, I'm waiting for his phone call, I'm going to ask a lot of questions about that. Yeah, he's one of the big ones, man. Ingram, to me, is the best disc jockey ever. He was the, the ABC. That's CBS. right. ABC. WABC. How did you know Scott Beauty? Uh, I have a book about... Uh, I have a book about uh, Cousin Bruce. A tube or no? Uh, it had a picture of all the DJs at uh, WABC Well, the ones in 61, he was losing his hair, but then he began to get his hair back as with a toupee, and then Ingram said then he got a better toupee. Yeah, he, he had a toupee in this picture. Uh, Here's one of the ones we're missing, Ken. Perfect. The red perfect. It had a book called uh, Cousin Bruce in My Life. Hold on a minute, hold on. Call the chime time, 13 minutes after the hour at 10 o'clock. Hey, yeah, we'll, we'll try to ask. Let me get going to other phone calls. Okay. Thanks all for calling. Bye-bye. Call Yeah, you might have a little on my mind. I'll try to get it on for you. All uh, right, we're pretty good. Bye. Guy's not listening. We play two more records and we'll do it again because the last break went 20 minutes. Oh yeah. But doesn't matter. This is, you know, this is we can do whatever we need to do. But I told you people are interested. This is an old Coke commercial. It's about a 1967 Coke spot. But they're not paying. No, well. We gotta get from point A to point B. Come up. Hello, is this Steve? No, this is Ricky. Hi, Rick. Never talked to you before. I wanna hear you Hold on a minute. Okay. Oh yes, things go better with Coke. Oh, thank you very much. Here's Ricky Nelson, 1961. A two-sided hit. This was the A-side. The B-side was Hello, Mary Lou. I'm a traveling man on coma. What can I do for you? Man. I want to hear a Beatles song. Well, we'll try to get. What do you want to hear? Um, it's a new one. I already got in. Uh, you going to lose her or something like that? Well, we'll try to get it on for you. Okay, I appreciate it. Thanks for calling. Thanks a lot. Bye. Okay. Now. Just for you. Okay. Yeah. Calma. Is this Ricky the K? Last time I looked. Ricky the K? Yeah. This is who? Who do you think? Oh, we got you. This is Deanie Meek. Oh, <laughs> are you listening to your daddy? Oh, well, no, I can't tune it in because our uh, electricity has been off for the last three hours. There's a new invention called batteries. Pardon? Batteries. Batteries. Your father can hear you, by the way.